Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from the Ride Collectors. And today we got some amazing news that was released. A user named by the name of Shriek had the Dreamcast dev kit and he released its files and contents on the Dreamcast talk forum. In these files, he found a tech demo of Bug Squad, a leaked Simpsons game under development by Red Lemon Studios and Fox Interactive. Red Lemon Studios is also known for another unreleased Dreamcast game called Take the Bullet, which was a canceled first person shooter. The GDI ROM file, which you can download to test was made by Megavolt85, also on the Dreamcast Talk Forum. PC Wizard, a well-known personality in the Dreamcast community, tweeted the news, and Red Lemon Studios founder, Andy Campbell, responded back with this. Oh my, not seen that for 20 years. We had a great coder who had developed an amazing cell shading engine for the DC. I knew Fox pretty well, so this was a demo we created to pitch to them. We were never commissioned, so this was technically never an official title in development. This is a trip down memory lane. The tech was great. Developed by a guy called Rich Evans, great coder, Bug Squad concept came from Julie Grant, if I remember. A great art team built these models. The tech was also pitched as a production tool for the show itself. No game made though. The original date of release was still unknown, sometime in 2000, but it would have probably been released roughly around the Dreamcast demise. The GDI file can be found in the Dreamcast talk forum. I'll put the link down below if you want to download it for yourself and test it out yourself. The demo does not have any sound and it just runs a very slow frame rate. So this tech demo has you playing as a bug and you see Homer walking around in a loop around the kitchen and the family room. So what you were meant to do is still unknown. You simply control a bug and you're able to hop from counter to counter or just run around the floor to see the amazing cell shaded graphics and game that was canceled. While controlling the bug, you can also go into free mode, which allows you to basically hover around the 3D environment and go through different aspects of the level. Also, a further look at the game files, you also see that there was supposed to be an enemy in this game. No idea who this enemy would have been, but odds are it would probably been Bart Simpson. This is some interesting news for a console that's been dead for 20 years. Finding another game that was still under development and canceled 20 years later is something that we never see on a regular basis on any console. I'll put a link to PC Wizards gameplay down below. The gameplay looks very good, very crisp. The slowdown of the frame rate does showcase its age, but it does look very, very clean and very, very good. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks guys.